Hey everyone, it's Laura here. Uh, today I'm going to do a tutorial on Penly. Um, just some questions that I've been asked I'm going to address today with uh, this video. If you like the video, please uh, give it a like, subscribe, tell your friends. Um, because Penly is a fairly new app for Android users. It's uh, on the Google Play Store. And at the moment, it's only really for tablets, although it does work on some phones. So here we are in the Penling app on my uh, own planner. And I'm going to run through the tools at the top of the page. So we have the pencil tool, the highlighting tool, the erasing tool, the text tool, the images tool, and the what I call like the editing tool. Um, with this tool you can move images forward and back, um, crop, add links and things like that which I will show you afterwards. So the first question I get asked is how do I white out the dates or how do I get rid of the dates to put my own in? Um, the answer is with the pencil tool and we have our colour wheel and the colour you need for white is uh, six F's, so hashtag F, 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 F. And as you can see, that is the code that I have used. Um, there are different thicknesses of the pencil tool. If I just change it to a different color, you can see you can change the thickness of the pen and we're going to use white and we're simply going to color over the date and that's basically it that's how i get rid of uh, the date to put my own date in and there we go the date is gone now because i'm using a galaxy tab s6 Lite, mine comes with an s pen um, I don't know if there's a way in the settings, if you haven't got the S Pen, you can use your finger as a tool, as a writing tool. I'm not quite sure. Moving on then, the next question I get asked is how do you add stickers? Um, we're going to add stickers using the images tool. Um, so images tool and then these are the preloaded images that came with Penly. We've got uh, Penly is made by uh, Happy Downloads, which is a sticker shop on Etsy. I'll leave a link to their page. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new folder, a new category from um, a completely new category. You can use add a new category from folder or a completely new category. Um, and give it a name so we've called ours others we're going to tap on that and add folder it will take you to your files that are on your tablet mine are all stored on my sd card all my stickers and they're all neatly in folders um, and we're going to find a sticker set that we're going to use i am going to use um the pixel bundle that came with holly pixels it was on there in april um, of this year haven't really used stickers but we're going to use some today so this one is called uh floral cats and it comes with several different folders but we're going to use uh, page two that has more stickers in it so you select that allow um, answer the text and allow and your stickers appear uh, for you to use which makes things a lot quicker because you don't have to then go through all the folders like you would on uh, Zodo or places like that uh, apps like that if you want to just add an, an image on its own you can choose to do that you just select add image and we're going to go to that page one folder that had the single image and add that so there we go we have that one image all works the same and so that is how you add the stickers um, i'm going to go through and add all of the 
folders one by one now um, and so that I've got the entire uh, sticker collection that I can grab all the stickers from so I'll just go ahead and do that I'm going to rename my folder floral cats because that will make it easily identifiable to me when I'm scrolling through um, I always name my folders um, if I'm using a particular kit for like a month then I will um, name the folder and add each of the items from the folder from my files and place it in the Penly app so that I can use it for easy access. So as you can see I've added the entire collection of floral cats and as I scroll through I can pick any image I like instead of going into my folders in my files one by one all of these stickers are now easily accessible in the Pe uh, Penly app and I can use them a lot quicker. Okay the next question that is asked is can you lasso? Uh, the answer is yes and no it's not a lasso as such it's more of a square but we just use the editing tool and we can highlight and pick up the images we can do groups of images or just one um, the other thing you can do with this tool is if you pick an image so we're gonna uh, crop an image so we just pick it highlight it and we can crop images um, move them around the other thing you can do is if we want to put an image behind or in front of another image we can use the lasso stroke edit tool to do that so what I'm going to do is add that cat image and then I'm going to put it behind background so we're just going to pick a background to use um, and put it over that sticker there and then what we're going to do is use the editing stroke lasso tool and we're going to tap on the image and we can move it in front or behind so there we go I don't know whether you can see that the cat is now in front of the colored square so that's how you do that you can also create links using this tool as well so the next question you I get asked is can you import your own fonts well yes you can uh, you just download them from somewhere like uh, the font or one thousand and one fonts or anywhere really that does fonts and you use the text tool and there's an option to import your own font I already have some but I'm going to import another one to show you how I do it so your font should be saved somewhere on your uh, device SD card just pick the one that you want it's an OFT or a TTF file and you just add it and as you can see it's at the bottom of my list I've selected it and now I'm going to type something with it uh, I'm just going to type hello and the easiest way to do it, it comes out quite small you just use the editing tool to make it bigger so that's how you do that so the next question that gets asked is can you use Penly for note taking? Uh, yes you absolutely can using the pencil tool uh, I quite often hand write in my journal or my planner using my S Pen you can um, choose the colour that you want, the thickness of the pen, use the colour wheel to choose the colours and you can use the erase tool to erase any mistakes that you've done I did find though that once I took a lot of notes using um, my pencil like handwritten notes I did find that it started to lag a little bit um, but I don't know whether they fixed that or not I'm using a different app for taking my maths class notes um, so here I'm just doing a quick flick through of my planner to show you what I've done this is all been done in the Penly app um, so it's 
My planner's pretty full. I've been using this one for a month now, so the file size is fairly large. But anyway, um, that's it for this video. I uh, hope you liked it. If you have any more questions or anything regarding anything I've shown you today, please uh, add it in the comments or send me a message. Thanks for watching. Uh, you can find me over on Instagram at Laura Digiplan and I will see you again soon.